Indoor Volleyball Open Tournament ang ginaganap sa Tobis Arena sa Pasig kung saan ang mga paborito niyong varsity at ex-varsity players ang lumalaban sa mga teams mula sa Guam din. To tell us more about the PHRS Manila Fun Cup, kasama natin ang tournament organizers na sina Lina Rosenberger at Ken Silverio Ugang. Nandito rin ang players na sina Monica Ortiz ng UP, Tim Young ng Omni at Kimberly Aquino ng Kokai Guam. Good evening guys, welcome to The Score. Thanks for joining us. Please grab a mic for those who want to sing the first song. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> we can't hear without that. But uh, ladies first, Tila, tell us about how you, you, you organize this tournament. You've been known for organizing beach volleyball tournaments in Boracay in the past. But what about the, this particular indoor tournament in okay. Manila? Well, this kind of landed on our lap as, um, as an accident. Okay. Um, we've been known to handle tournaments in beach mm -hmm. for uh, the last couple of years. And uh, the original organizer for the yearly Guam Pokai mm -hmm. tournaments that um, host this, unfortunately, could not do it this year. Okay. So he asked us for a favor and said, "Hey, can you guys, you know, help us out? And mm -hmm. uh, we have some teams coming in from Pokai Guam. Okay. And uh, can you do the tournament for us? So All right. How so it this is some, an event that's been happening elsewhere in Guam. You say? No. In fact, it's every, every year. Okay. It's here. It's except here. For, okay. Yeah. Just a different organizer. Okay. Right. All right. So, uh, well, with Ken now, you're the one running the tournament pretty much. Um, how was it, what was it like having to structure the tournament? I mean, volleyball is becoming bigger and bigger as the months go by yeah. here in the Philippines. And, yeah. and uh, I'm sure that with that attention, it helped attract more teams to, to want to play as well? Yes. What's unique about this tournament is that we have an international teams coming. Right. So that's, mm -hmm. for, uh, that's the Guam team. Mm -hmm. So with the locals, they were so excited. I mean, um, the registration itself, uh, we had um, six... Uh, Four for the men's, mm -hmm. and then f uh, we have three for the women. Okay. So both, uh, all of them are university teams, and the other for the men's are club teams. All right. And uh, you've mentioned Guam twice, so let's talk to the girl from Guam. Yeah. Welcome, Kimberly. Thanks for joining us. We'll talk about your experience so far, coming all the way from Guam and playing with the Filipino talent that's here in, the, in volleyball. It's a growing sport in the Philippines. Well, um, this is our first time coming back in two years. Okay. We actually competed back in 2011 and 2012, mm -hmm. but it was. Um, it was hosted back in Jose Rizal. Okay. So different organizer, uh, and back then we there was actually more teams. Okay. So this year there wasn't as much, but the competition was still there. Okay. So. And we have a player from UP, Monica. Uh, you know the, the UAP is huge, and even uh, other the professional volleyball leagues. Tell us why you guys decided to to field the team here and and to compete as well. Is it for you know to keep the competitive juices flowing and to always have uh, competitive games as well? So one of the main reasons our team uh, joined this tournament is for the exposure of the rookies because okay, we have great. so many rookies and we want them to be exposed and gain m more experience mm -hmm. of playing volleyball. So I was also, I was part of the team, this this mm -hmm. team's at PHRS because I think I was uh, assigned to like lead the rookies nice. to, okay. you know, because I was the team, I'm the team captain. All so right. I think they're expecting me to like uh, guide them and help them That's to gain more experience. Yeah. <laughs> As one of the veterans. For, Ken, for Tim, one of the, the only guy here the playing. You, you're in high school. You're in ISM. And tell us about your team, Omni, right? Uh, how, how this team is put together and how you're competing in this tournament. Oh, actually, we just like put a, like, we just pick players from like a uh, club team in Sistema, like okay. Rocky and AJ. Mm -hmm. AJ used to play in Ateneo, actually. Okay. And then me and my brother uh, play beach volleyball, actually. Okay. Uh, we're in the national men's uh, volleyball for team. beach volleyball, yeah, okay. Philippines and uh, we just basically just for fun. We just put a team together, and that's why it's called the Fun it. Cup, right? Yeah. And and going back to Lila, this is what you were saying that this is open. It's not specific for professional teams, not for school teams. Anybody can form a team. And uh, what is that? How would you call this an advantage? Attract more players to join a kind of tournament like this? Well, that's a huge thing because. Um, Unlike some of the other um, tournaments out there, they're all by invitation only. Right. You need to be in college to mm -hmm. play. And we have a lot of players that have, um, you know, finished playing from the universities and mm -hmm. still want to play. Right, yeah, and of course. And this gives them an avenue to continue playing the sport mm -hmm. and even at a competitive level. And I must say, we were quite shocked at the level of competitiveness mm -hmm. um, with the teams that I've joined this year. Well, he's the youngest at 17. And, and Ken, I heard there's some guys that are older. <laughs> uh, I mean, we won't mention names, but uh, so you really intended that there's no age restriction uh, in terms of formatting the, the tournament yes, uh, requirements? Yes, because it's uh, basically it's fun cup. So right. we want everyone from all ages to come mm -hmm. and just play the game. Mm -hmm. And that's the beauty of volleyball. There's no... Yeah. You know, direct physical contact, of course, yes. unless you, you know, 
end up yes. jumping across the net. But yes. unlike other contact sports, age would matter more. Yes. But for yes. in this case, uh, not so. And how have how what's the response when when you watch these games when you see the young and the old competing against each other as a as a volleyball player as a, as a viewer? How do you see it? The teams are awesome. I okay. mean, um, how they they played uh, with the Omni, we, they have okay. some, uh -huh. but uh, with, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's with the mixture already. of the young and the old, uh -huh. they're doing good, and they okay. did in the in the top four. Okay, great, great. All right. Well,